Okay, so uh, this is the next installment of the Volk through series that we've got. We've already run through uh, setting up a Jenkins X3 cluster. That was through the admin guides. We've also enabled TLS and DNS, which is an optional step. We've done that. We've also created a quick start. Um, we've had that deployed out into our staging environment, which we can see here. It's our staging, and this is just following on now. Um, because one of the things we want to do as developers, um, using the new capabilities within Jenkins X, is to be able to extend these pipelines. We want to do more with our pipelines. So we're using Tekton as the pipeline orchestration. Um, and what we want to do is extend this. So going down to the, uh, V3 docs, we can look at extending. There are a couple of extension points which we can look at in, at, at other guides further down the road um, with plugins and charts. Um, but for this guide, we're going to focus on triggers. So when we looked at our application, quick start that we created, we already had a look at uh, the Lighthouse directory. And in here was our triggers. Uh, YAML. This tells us what uh, what pre-submit and post-submit tasks uh, pipelines to be actual to be run. These particular ones refer to these YAML files that are in repository, so the pipelines live with the application code. And here we can see that we're just running different steps from different images, uh, doing different things. We're making doing the build. Um, we're also then uh, building up a Helm chart. We're publishing it building the image using Canico, and we're promoting this to our staging environment. So that's all done. But what we want to do is actually look at how we might want to extend this using some adding some extra checks on our uh, uh, for our pull requests. OK, what I've got here is we also have um, a few different options here. But let's go and have a look at a private Git repo that I've got. Um, this is just this can this is an example of how you can build up um, reusable pipelines that are referred to uh, by a URL from our triggers YAML. So we have a, a simple uh, pipeline run. This again is a Tekton resource. And this is just going to, um, it has a pre prepend step. So before this pipeline runs, it's going to do a git clone of our pull request. And then it's going to run this image, which is just a Chuck Norris. Um, uh, it's popular with the Jenkins community, being able to have uh, triggering um, friendly comments, quite frankly, on a pull request. Um, so we want this to be able to run as part of a pull request. So how would we go about enabling this on our application for our quick start that we've created? So first of all, we want to have a look at our triggers. Um, let's just double check we've got um, git fetch, fetch origin. I want to make sure we've got the, the latest code. Oh. Okay, so now we're the say we're head of our branch from GitHub. Um, go back to here, we've got our triggers YAML, which is in, in our repo. I'm just going to do a copy and paste of something that we've I've got um, okay so what we can actually do is we can add in an extra trigger under our pre-submits so that when this runs when a web uh, webhook event is triggered from our git repository then it'll actually run this context called chuck we don't want it to run all the time because we want to be able to enable this using particular command in this case, JX Chuck. And again, this is all configurable. Now, rather than the pull request and release YAML that we were referring to the local in repo config here, here, we're actually going to reference the via URL the, the foo.yaml that we've got in my private repo over here. Um, so let's go back. Let's save that. And get uh, Commit and say maxm feet enable chuck uh, git checkout. Let's, be, let's work on the branch again. It's git push origin chuck. We 
we can go and have a look at our um, our application. Here we go. This is our Git repo. So we've already imported this into the cluster. Um, we can go and compare this and make a pull request now, enabling our chuck context to be an extra check that gets run as part of the pull request pipeline. So create a pull request. Right, again, we've um, we've got our uh, PR, our normal PR pipeline that's running using the in repo configuration. Um, but now what we want to do is see if we can trigger that extra context we're doing. JX Chuck. Let's comment this. Here we can see we've got an extra context run. Let's go and have a look at our at the pipeline running. We can see that's the prepend uh, task that was running that we saw. And now we're running this step chuck. Now it's commented on our pull request. Let's go back. And here we go. We've got a little bit of fun, but it just goes to demonstrate we, what more control we can have over our pipelines and enable more checks. In this example, we've just uh, commented on the pull request, a nice little Chuck Norris uh, joke, um, which is a bit of fun. But you can see where this could be extended to do anything you want. We want to shift left, we want to run more security checks um, and enable more control, um, all triggered by chat ops on our pull request.